Frequency Charts and Histograms The frequency of a data value is the number of times it occurs in a set of data. What are the frequencies of the numbers 1 and 2 in the following data set? If you count the number of times you see the number 1, that's the frequency of the number 1. So the frequency of the number 1 is 2. Same thing with the number 2. If you count the number of times you see the number 2, you'll see that there are 4 of them, and that's the frequency of 2 in this data set. Now that you understand frequencies, let's talk about a frequency table. The frequency table shows the frequency of each data value, but we normally divide it into intervals, and then the table shows the frequency of numbers in each interval. For example, we can set the interval to look like this, 1 to 3, 4 to 6, and 7 to 9. Notice how each interval is the same size, in this case three numbers. So 1, 2, and 3, three numbers. <clears throat> 4, 5, and 6, 3 numbers, 7, 8, and 9, 3 numbers. Notice that the intervals do not overlap. You can't have 1 to 3 and 3 to 6. They must be totally independent. In the frequency column for each interval, we show the total number of numbers that are in that interval from our data set. If you count all the 1s, 2s, and 3s, you'll come up with a total of 11. With the 4s to 6s, you'll come up with 3. And with the 7s to 9s, you'll come up with 1. That's our frequency table. You could also make the same frequency table with different intervals. Let's say I wanted to make the intervals smaller, like two numbers each instead of three. Then our intervals might look like this. Here we can recount the interval, the frequencies, and see that there are six numbers in the one to two range, eight in the three to four, zero in the five to six, and one in the seven to eight. Both these frequency tables are describing the same data. The first one shows clearly that all the numbers, that most of the numbers are in the 1 to 3 range. The second one breaks it down a little further and shows that almost all the numbers are in the 1 to 2 interval or the 3 to 4 interval, and that all the number and all those numbers are split almost evenly between the two intervals. Now let's move on to an addition to the frequency table called the cumulative frequency table. We start with our original frequency table, but in the cumulative frequency column, we show a running total of the frequencies. So the first number will be 6 because there were no other frequencies intervals before the first interval. But in the second interval, we're going to add that original 6 to the 8 in the current interval and get 14. What this tells us is that there are 14 values from our data set that are in the current and all earlier intervals. So up to this point, the end of the second interval, there were 14 values. Once again, we'll add 0 from the third interval to 14 and see that there are 14 values in the first three intervals. And then if we add the 1, we can see that our total data set should have 15 values in it. So for any interval, the value in the cumulative column shows you how many total values occur in the current and all earlier intervals. Now let's talk about histograms. A histogram is a graph that shows the information from a frequency table. It looks like a bar graph, but with the histogram, the bars must touch. When we spoke earlier about bar graphs, we said that the bars must not touch, but with the histogram, they should touch. The x-axis of the histogram is the intervals from the frequency chart, and the y-axis represents the frequency for each interval. Let's take a look at what it looks like for our data. You can see that in this chart, this, this chart is a histogram, you can see in this histogram there are four intervals just like we defined in our second frequency chart. We also had the same frequencies 6, 8, 0, and 1. And those are shown here. In a histogram, the bars must be the same width as well. It kind of looks like this might not be exactly the same width. It's kind of hard to tell, but they should be the same width. That's pretty much all there is for you to know about frequency charts and histograms.